Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Whatever time it might be, thank you very much for joining me back in my garage. Today, I have a task that I should have been doing a couple years ago, but I'm gonna say I got busy, I got quarantined. So here we are today to do it. And that is, boom, my air compressor. I've had this about five years, and I can show you up on the warranty and on the instruction manual, you're supposed to do this every year, or when you storage it, is drain the valve. And unfortunately, I haven't done that. So let's go ahead and drain this thing out and see if I have anything inside the tank that should be worrying. So if we take a look at this valve down at the bottom of my 20 gallon Husky air compressor, we see I have a thumb screw right here. We have a big nut with nothing at the bottom. And we have some plumber's tape right on top of it that attaches to the, attaches to the tank. So even though my instructions were different, I'll put them right up on the screen right now. You can see that if I took off this, it's gonna just pretty much be taken off from the tank. Whereas if I use this bleeder screw right here or thumb screw, I should be able to loosen this up and be able to bleed out through the bottom. So my instructions were wrong, but as always, check your instructions to make sure you're doing this properly. I think now we're ready to go ahead and try and open up this uh, thumb bolt or thumb screw. I have a Pyrex pan right underneath so I can capture anything that's inside. The tank is at 20. PSI as prescribed. Oh, there we go. Came loose. And there we go. If you ever wondered why you need to drain your air compressor every year, this is why. You're going to get a mixture of water or the condensation just from the atmospheric changes, but you're also going to get some dust because your workshop's going to be dusty. It gets uh, sucked in when it's compressing air and it's going to get into the compressor. 